the source of all life. And now, we are the giver of every good and perfect gift. We thank you. We praise you. We glorify you. Yes. We magnify you. Yes. We are here this evening because you have been so good to us. For every last one of us here, you've brought us from a mighty, mighty long way. And we take a moment now to say thank you. Thank you for blessing seen and unseen. For it is numbered and unnumbered. You surround us with your grace each and every day of our lives. And we would be remiss if we didn't take a moment just to stop and say thank you. Thank you, dear God, for all your servants throughout this land and nation who seek to serve you. Thank you, dear God, for those witnesses who stand up for your name. Now, dear God, we know we are living in troubled times. There's so many things going on around and about us. There are those who seem to forget that this world is in your hands, that it belongs to you. And nobody stands without your permission. And nobody sits without your permission. So God, we are asking you tonight to simply be the God that you are. As we live in these troubled times, remind all of us that you are still in heaven. And all is still right with this world. Remind every last one of us that it is by your hand of mercy and by your heart of love that we wake up each morning, that we make it through each and every day. And that it's your mercy and your grace that sustains us. God, we ask your blessings upon this nation. There are those on Capitol Hill who believe that they hold this world in their hands. But Heavenly Father, remind them, you are the Alpha and you are the Omega. You are the beginning and you are the end. Remind